Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to episode three of my playthrough of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker for the PS3. You're watching The Gaming Completionist. I'm The Gaming Completionist, your host, DJ Amagoth. Where we last left off, I am going to make my way back. Well, I made I made my way back at the end of the episode here to see if the thing would start, but apparently it didn't. So I'm just going to grab these grenades, and now I'll just go back and continue with the everything... Uh, another weapon that I have is the Mach 22, which is a non-lethal tranquilizer, which, to be honest, is how I plan on going through the rest of this game. I plan on just stunning, go through it as non-lethal as possible, just to see if it's possible. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure it is, but I do remember a few times that I'm just like, fuck it, I'm gonna kill everything. So I killed people. But currently... We're gonna pop, hang out like that. Ah, oh, swing and a miss. There we go. So he's asleep. The indicator in the upper right serves as a compass and shows sound sources. Pay attention to your surroundings. Keep your eye on what's left of your life gauge on the left of the screen. To the right of that. You'll see your sight gauge. Exhausting it will inhibit your actions. Your life gauge will recover with time. The sight gauge, too. You'll recover faster crouching than standing up. Lying flat works even better. Okay, so it's probably... The percentage better. in the upper right is your camo index. The lower the number, the more easily you'll be spotted. Conspicuous movements and loud noises will compromise your camo index. Your fatigues will act as camouflage. I don't remember where the guys are in this. Definitely can't go that way. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. I think there are some items. Room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. Around here that I can pick up also, but I don't remember. Definitely do that. I can usually get about two items from each person. Because if you tap them more, they will start waking up and stuff, if I remember right. As you can see there, the Z's went down. I do remember this game being overall pretty easy compared to like every other Metal Gear game, but at the same time, I did have quite a few issues. Looks like you're inside the compound. Security is tight. Stay sharp. Security's not that tight. I just gotta remember where everybody is. He'll go to sleep eventually. Then there's the guy who's down over there. I'm gonna wait for this guy to come by. I know I saw something. Can't see shit, bitch. Fuck. 
Okay, my suppressor's out. But there shouldn't be anybody else. Oops. Ah, Jesus. Okay, there we go. Haha. -ha. Yes, sir, we broke him. We acquired the whereabouts of target 500. Acknowledged. DJ Spears are loaded. The barge is cleared Point Bravo. Acknowledged. Al. I forgot that there are timed events. Ha! Freeze! The cargo. Where's it headed? What is it? Air suit! In the mountains! What's up there? clear you found a radio it's got a circuit that reverses the audio phase let's switch frequencies from time to time just to make sure we're not detected i found a map of their bases the cargo's heading from the marshes west towards irasu nice going boss cause this place is full of film badges dozens of them film badges like the ones used to measure radiation exposure uh, the radio man was wearing one and whoever he was talking to called the cargo Spears. Wait, that would mean... Nukes. They're bringing nukes into Costa Rica. Holy Mother of God. And now the shit show actually begins. Right? No? Yes? No? Okay, cool. Yay, look at that. I got graded for a thing. Obtain design specs. Smoke grenade design specs. How's that map, Snake? Think you can use it? It tells me where their bases are, but it's just a bunch of points. No routes. I need better intel on the lay of the land. Snake, the professor said he's got the Sandinistas on his side. Said you should get in touch with the FSL and Commandante. Hmm. Do they know they're backed by the KGB? Nah. As far as they know, they're really fighting for the revolution. The KGB is staying behind the scenes. I'm not sure the Sandinistas are aware of what's really going on. Still can't believe anybody would bring nukes here. Yeah, that's a shocker. Costa Rica's party to the Tlatel Loco Treaty, which declares Latin America a nuke-free zone. Based on Japan's three non-nuclear principles, it bans the testing, use, import, or deployment of nuclear weapons. If word of this gets out, Openall will be forced to act. It'll cause an international uproar. The treaty was signed to prevent another Cuban Missile Crisis. If the U.S. itself is gonna scrap it, Latin America is too close to spawning another Cuba or two already. The entire continent would become one big powder keg. Well, if they did bring nukes, we can't let them get away with it. Are they planning a test? Showing off? Or is it all to keep the anti-American movement in check? Good question. Why bring them here? I can't figure it out. 
Whatever the CIA's up to in Costa Rica, the Professor wants it stopped. We need to find out what that something is. We need to get ready first, Kaz. Repairs? Working as fast as we can, boss. This place is pretty beat. It looks like hell. But as long as you're with us, we'll make it heaven. No one can bother us here. No state telling us what to do. This is the MSF's haven, our mother base. And with this foothold, we'll back you up even better than before. We're gonna turn this pile of junk into something big. Okay, a lot of plot happening, just like any other Metal Gear game. Although, unlike the rest of them, this one's actually pretty easy to follow. So let's see what I can do here. Uh, we have, ah, uh, shit, there we go, R&D, to learn things. I don't need a tutorial. I already know how it works. Here we can actually change our staff around, move them to places they need to go. I don't need a staff assignment tutorial. There is, I think, a thing that you can do to like automatically put them in the right area. So I'll probably just do that the entire time because it's faster and easier. Uh, let's see, versus ops. This is online only if I remember right. Yeah. Not gonna bother with that at all, unless it's something that I have to do at some point to unlock another thing. But I don't think there is. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm going to do is save the game here. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, don't, but come on back tomorrow where we take on a new mission and continue with the storyline. I'll have my mother base set up properly all that stuff. So come on back for that and I'll see you then. Take care.